Hello lovely people, I am Jonathan from Aquaponics Revolution and today I would like to give you five tricks to allow you to get your fish to go through summer. So basically maintaining your fish in good conditions in very high temperature. I live in Melbourne uh, in, uh, in Australia and in summer temperature can reach above 30 degrees and sometimes even above 40 degrees. So we need to make sure that our fish are going to be kept in good conditions and will be able to go through summer. Um, depending on the species of fish you have, you might not have any challenge. The first thing is of course to select fish that are going to be adapted to the environment where you live. But we know that one of the fish that is really well adapted to aquaponics is trout. But trout is a cold water fish. So today we will see five things we can do to make sure our fish are going through summer without any problem. make sure we got enough oxygen in our water and for that I highly recommend using an air pump you know I, I see a lot of people building the aquaponic system with a very big water pump and of course a water pump if you raise the water and the water is falling back into the pond uh, it's going to create a type of cascade and the surface area between the atmosphere and the water is going to be increased it's going to create some bubbles and it's going to bring oxygen to your, to your aquaponic system. But by doing that, you raise water and it, it requires a lot of energy to do that. It's way more efficient and uh, more sustainable to blow some air into the water. That's why I highly recommend in summer to have an air pump in your, in your pond, in your fish tank. The second thing is to make sure you got a good insulation uh, around your, your fish tank. So uh, here you see we are in a holistic aquaponics, so the fish, is, the fish tank is in ground. So in this case the pond um, is protected from uh, the high temperature because everything that is digged underground is going to be uh, insulated by the earth. And so the temperature of the water will be more constant through the year. And even in summer, when you got 40 degrees uh, outside, you might get only 20 degrees into the water, you know, because you got a good insulation. Now, if you are above ground, that's where you have an issue, because, um, you know, if, you, if, for instance, you look at an IBC or a, a raised fish tank, you have uh, the air that is acting from the side as well, you know, and uh, you got a lot of exchange of temperature. So one thing you could do would be to add some insulation all around the pond. So it can be polystyrene, you can use different materials. When I designed my Bespoc aquaponic system, you know that's a wooden aquaponic system that is designed to be very efficient, but also quite aesthetic. When I designed those, I used some five centimeters thick uh, cypress wood, which create a certain insulation already on the fish tank. But if you have an IBC, you can always go for polystyrene or any type of material that is going to avoid the contact, uh, the exchange of temperature between the outside and uh, the inside of the water by the wall of the fish tank. Then the trick number three is very important, is how you position your water pump into your, your pond. So in an aquaponic system, we usually like to have the water pump on the deepest part of the fish tank, simply because that's where all the particles are gonna fall down, are gonna settle. And what we want is to raise them to our grow beds or to our filtration system. Let's say we are into an in-grand uh, aquaponics uh, fish tank, so such as what we have behind us in the holistic aquaponic system. So uh, you got your water here with your fish and then you got your grow beds and the water is pumped from a water pump to the grow bed and then from the grow bed it comes back thanks to a bell siphon. 
So normally we have the water pump in the deepest part. So this is what we generally do. And then when we got our fish, releasing some waste, while the waste is going to accumulate on the bottom and it's going to be sucked by the water pump and waste. And our plants are going to be able to grow from it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go back to the principle of an aquaponic system. But what, what, what is happening is that the water then is circulating this way. Yeah? So basically uh, the water temperature is, is the same here and here because Basically, you got a mix of water. The water is coming from the surface and stuck on the bottom. So you got the water that is doing a movement like this. What is interesting to do is to uh, change this configuration during summer because we want what we call a stratification, stratification of the water temperature. So if you raise your water pump, Let's say, you know, inside the pond it's not like this. Inside the pond you got some stairs. If instead to put the water pump here, we put the water pump there. Now the water movement is going to uh, happen in this first layer of water. Yeah. So the first layer of water is going to be quite warm because when you raise the water there, you got the, uh, the action of the sun you got a lot of heat that is happening here. Hopefully you got a lot of vegetables that are going to cover the surface here, but you still have always a bit of heat. And this water here will increase in temperature. However, the further down you go, and the lower the temperature will be. So that's the principle of the thermocline for those of you who are familiar with this. But we really have a stratification, which means we got some strats of temperature. And you might have several degrees of difference, you know, between the high temperature here and the low temperature. And in this case, in summer, it's very interesting to raise a water pump and to keep uh, the bottom of the pond that is cooler. So the fish can go and swim a bit deeper to stay in good conditions. If they hear some fish food falling, they're going to come to the surface, but they're going to spend most of their time in the deepest part of the pond where the water is a bit colder. And that's what we see today. If you look at my pond, normally we always see the fish on the surface in, in a normal time, but now when the temperature is increasing and the fish, um, the water temperature is a bit high for the fish, they go a bit deeper. And basically they stand just below uh, the height of the pump. That's what you see, you know? So um, that's really a little trick that makes a huge difference. If you want to keep uh, fish during summer, especially if it's fish that are sensitive to the water temperature, like cold water fish such as trout, that's the way to do it. Moving your, your water pump high is going to make a massive difference. For the point number four, I'm not going to be very original, but you need to check your water parameters. I hear too many people who have an aquaponic system who don't even know how to check the, the parameters and don't know what parameters to check. Guys, this is important, you know, that's where your fish are living. If you have too much ammonia, too much nitrite, or even too much nitrate, the fish are going to stress. And of course, one stress, uh, if, you, if you add to the stress a uh, high temperature, then that's a combination of stress that's going to lead to problems for your fish. So you need to make sure that in summer, when you are close to the limit of your fish in terms of water temperature, you have a perfect water quality. So if you don't remember what to check, you will find somewhere uh, in this video uh, the possibility to download a free template to record your water parameters and on this template you see exactly what, what you need to record. It's super important guys to check your water parameters. You fish need to live in a good environment.
And the last point, point number five, is obviously if your water temperature is high, you want to decrease the stress on the fish and you want to decrease the metabolism activity of the fish. Basically, uh, the fish are not going to be able to digest the food properly because for digestion, they need a lot of oxygen. And in high temperatures, there is a bit less oxygen into the water. So we saw that we need to have uh, to add some aeration. But to help this, we need to feed our fish less. Or even if the temperature is very high, you need to not feed the fish at all. So adapt your feeding to your water temperature and also to the species of fish you have. Yeah? All fish have a special range. When you are close to the extreme of the range, that's where you don't feed. You want to make sure your fish are going to be able to go through those difficult or challenging times and uh, they're going to stay alive in good health. And then they will be eat, they will eat and they will grow again once uh, the temperature becomes more acceptable. And that's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed and if you are new to aquaponics, you can get the free guide to understand the limits and the perfect ratio to respect to build your aquaponic system. There is a link into the description. Uh, as said before, I am sharing a template to know what water parameters to record and to record them on this Excel spreadsheet. So you will find the link somewhere in the video. And I see that a lot of people who are uh, watching those videos are not subscribed yet to the channel. So please take this opportunity to click subscribe to the channel so that you will be aware of the next video I post. I see you in the next one. Salut!